ladies and gentlemen, this is Carmine Sabia for Explain America. And, you know, Trump is actually getting support from people you never thought he'd get support from. Now, they don't support him, but they're against this Colorado decision to remove him from the ballot. Before we get started, please make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Those little things really help us out, and they really help our channel continue to grow. So one of the most unlikely people in the world to take former President Donald Trump's side was on CNN. I'm not, I'm not talking about Chris Christie. We've already seen Chris Christie go against this Colorado decision. This is somebody else. He was on CNN and he was like, look, I don't like Donald Trump. Never going to like Donald Trump. Hasn't liked Donald Trump in, since 2016 when Donald Trump, you know, destroyed him in the primary. But in this case, he actually sides with Donald Trump. He believes this Supreme Court decision should be overturned, the Colorado Supreme Court decision, that is, by the United States Supreme Court. So before I send you to the clip, I want to tell you that I'm Carmine Sabia. This is Explain America. We love you guys. God bless you. Take care, everybody. Now let's watch Governor John Kasich. It's going nowhere. I mean, look, I don't need to lay out my bona fides as my opposition to Donald Trump. But this is just, you know, pure partisan, ridiculous stuff here. Uh, you know, I've had to say what I've said about January 6th. And apparently there's been a place, couple places in the state, in the United States Senate where they took a look at whether he should be convicted. He wasn't. I think Jack Smith didn't move forward to uh, indict him on this. But look, you've got a partisan court, all Democrats, and they barely, they barely could say that he should be disqualified. And think about the precedent of this. I always worry about that. I worry about the fact that, you know, I've told you this before, you know, you do this to me and then I do this to you and this just goes on and on and on. And I, I just think this case is going to, it's not going to hold up. And uh, it has a significant, if it were to hold up, you tell me what, what we're looking at in terms of future decisions being made by partisans, uh, partisan judges that tell somebody who should be on the ballot and who shouldn't. And frankly, I know there are probably a lot of Democrats excited about this, but I got news for them or some advice for them. Why don't you figure out how to beat Trump? That would be a more important decision. But what am I watching for? I'm watching for the court to just reject this. I hope they're going to do it on a, you know, with Democrat, with, with that court being divided. I hope it'll be pretty close to unanimous. Do you, do you think, Governor, because there's, there's the legal part of this, right, and then there's the political part of this, do you think that it's a net positive in a way for Trump? Because any time he can send out fundraising emails and say they're picking on me, he wins. Well, I, I can tell you what these Trumpers are going to say. They're going to say, you see? The deep state, they won't even let him compete. They won't even get into the ballpark and be able to swing at a pitch. That's what they're going to say, and he's going to say it. He's going to say the deep state is at it again. And so for people who don't follow this all the time, Chris, like we do, it's pretty simple to them. Now they're saying he can't run for president. You know, that's, that's a reaction. So, yes, and it gives him an opportunity to vent more. It gives him an opportunity to get on a soapbox and to be able to avoid any other problems that he has, you know. So uh, this is something that they're probably pretty excited about if I had to bet money on it.